When I told him I wanted to interview him for our podcast, he told me, whoa, Joe, you first better read this book about caps, what the platoon is all about, so you know what questions to ask me. I had heard about it. I, I went in the Marine Corps in 1979, so we, we heard about caps. But this book he turned me on to was very informative, uh, and now I know what questions to ask him. Uh, so one day we'll be sitting down with Gene and doing a podcast with him. And uh, please, when you have a chance, get a card, listen to some of these. Uh, to me, they're heroes. There's people on there. Uh, you know, you'll be surprised what some people have gone through. Also, my mom is actually on that podcast, too, and I'll tell you why. Not because she's funny, but she's 93, and she was a teenager during World War II. So I put her on there, too, because she got to tell her story as someone being in a village in Poland, and so you gotta listen to it, I'm not gonna tell you. You wanna hear the story, you're gonna have to pull up the podcast and listen to it. So, uh, the next speaker I'd like to present is Tom Nguyen. Hello ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure, it is a distinct honor that I represent in the Vietnamese community um, in working in cooperation with the, the Post to honor our veterans, uh, commemorate our um, the fall of Saigon, or we call it Black uh, April. Uh, along with the, the journey, uh, I would like to thank you, Mr. George Bouvani. Uh, who is who is very active, uh, very kind um, in, in, in organizing the event. Um, and then also I would like to thank you, um, Commander Anthony Siciliano, who is very graceful and for hosting the, the event. Uh, this is the second year we're doing it today. Um, now, the Vietnamese community is um, very humble very appreciate and thank you and we don't know how we say thank you to the veterans especially to do those who can, uh, came back from, from Vietnam and those who uh, sacrificed their lives uh, during the war in Vietnam. Uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, say a few words in, in Vietnamese so I'm be switching back and forth between English and Vietnamese so we can introduce uh, a proper um, language too to people who some get a little uh, difficulty understand the, the English. Uh, xin kính chào tất cả quý vị. Uh, lời đầu tiên, uh, tôi xin gửi lời uh, cảm ơn tất cả các quý vị, các hội đoàn đại diện các hội đoàn đã đến đây để tham dự uh, cái buổi tưởng niệm ngày 30 tháng 4 của um, uh, ngày, ngày Sài Gòn Thất Thủ. Uh, năm 1975 à, đến nay là 47 năm thì à, tham dự buổi à, lễ ngày hôm nay chúng tôi nhận thấy có cộng đồng người Lào à, This is the president of the Laos Ocean Community Please stand up and be recognized He's in the back, he's shy um, And then uh, Further, we have the uh, Hội Người Việt, uh, đại diện của Hội Người Việt, Cô Đắc Thảo, the representative from the Vietnamese uh, Association, she is the uh, president of the board. Uh, we have a uh, representative from the Trúc Lâm Temple, the abbot, Thích Thông Viên. Xin uh, quý vị trang có tài thượng tỏa Thích Thông Viên từ chỗ Trúc Lâm. We have the representative from the Viet Thanh uh, organization. Chào mừng ông đại diện cho đảng Việt Tân. And then we have the um, representative. As it's actually, uh, she is a liaison for us. Uh, also, River Casino is the official sponsor um, for, for this event today. And Mrs. Kelly Bo from River <laughs> Casino.
Merci, ça. And we also have, the last one I, I want to mention is the American Asian Council of Chicago, uh, Mr. Kang Tran. He is going to be yeah, on Kang Tran. Uh, every year um, we have the um, a New Year celebration for all Asian communities, uh, sponsored usually by each community every year. And next year there will be the Vietnamese community. Um, so uh, we would like to invite everyone uh, to go to that event. Uh, usually they organize it in Hilton, uh, Marriott, you know, some high-cost, high-price, big-ticket, expensive places. Uh, but it's really fun. Uh, from there you can learn about most of the cultures of various communities. March of 2023. Yes. Uh, further information will come forth. Okay. Um, oh, and, and last but not least, we have the uh, Vietnam National Veterans uh, who part of the um, naval, naval uh, what do we call that? Gia Đình Hải Quân Hàng Hải Dùng Trung Tây Hoa Kỳ uh, do uh, Lê Như Bái là 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 Quân Bái thì cái Yeah, yeah, uh, Mr. Lê Như Bái is from the uh, the former commander uh, in the uh, Big South Vietnam Navy, and 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 the rest of the uh, the Vietnamese uh, the, uh, veterans uh, that presented today, and we have also um, Mr. Brian. Uh, who is the uh, the the, uh, the current president of the, the group? Uh, he is in the navy. And following, um, we would like to have a, a speakers coming in to show uh, our gratitude and our appreciation for the um, uh, all of the veterans. Um, the, the uh, American uh, veterans and also the, uh, the Vietnamese one. Introducing Mrs. Ducky Tao Nguyen. Uh, she's represented the, um, the Board of uh, Vietnam American Association. Thank you everyone that came out today on such a momentous occasion on Black April. I wanted to say my deepest gratitude for all the veterans that came and fought and sacrificed their lives. When the call of duty was called, they heard that call. They left their homes, their lives, their families. And it wasn't for the recognition to be bestowed upon them today. It was to fight for the freedom that we hold so dear. It's to maintain the freedom that we have today. And that is why today we honor you and everything that you have done. Because without your courage, your sacrifice, I would not be standing here today. I am a first generation Vietnamese here because of my parents. My father was a Vietnam War vet. Without his courage to come and take the next step, to give his family a better life, to give me, my brothers and sisters, a better life, I wouldn't be here. Being first generation here, a lot of people tend to think, oh, you had a great life. No, I grew up in one bedroom apartment in Chicago with 11 people. And they say, you know, so because that wasn't fair. But you know what? Life is not fair. And you know what I did? I did not forget the opportunity that my parents gave me to rise above everyone else, even as English as a second language. Because you know what? America is great. America is the land of opportunity. <laughs> so for everyone here that has fought for our freedom, 
that has fought for our independence. The people who are not in the military or have not signed up, we all have a duty and responsibility to protect that freedom. We protect that freedom by attending events like this, by our civic engagement, by voting, by speaking up against injustices. And we do that by volunteering. And with me here in my position as board president, it is my duty to teach the stories that are behind the sacrifice, to give the next generation to my own children to learn how to protect that freedom. Because we must never forget the blood, sweat, and tears that have built the roots of the tree that I am now. And I will forever be grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is Tom Quinn. Uh, following, uh, we would like to invite uh, Mrs. Kelly Vaux, who is representative from the uh, Ripa Casino, uh, will come in and offer a few words. Good, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. I am Kelly Vo. I'm with Rivers Casino. It is a great honor and privilege to be here on this special occasion. On behalf of Rivers Casino, um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, all the veterans and for all the sacrifice and uh, service. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. God bless. And um, following, this is the, maybe the one of the, the first person who is, uh, I think, uh, courage enough to run for office. Introducing Mr. Juan Nguyen, who is the Democrat candidate for the state representative of Illinois District 13. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, it's an honor to be here today. I want to thank our veterans of today, and thank you so much to our Vietnamese Americans for being here today. I'm going to tell a quick story uh, about my journey. It's really about my pathway, and I want to make sure that folks here know that it's because of the sacrifices of our Vietnam War veterans that I am here today running for the Illinois House Assembly, uh, District 13, which is the north side of Chicago. It includes uh, Asian Argyle, a very predominant Vietnamese American population, also includes numerous American Legion uh, branches as well. So, my name is Han Nguyen. I was born a refugee in, in Vietnam, in Vu Dao. My dad served in the South Vietnamese military during the Vietnam War. He spent five years in a prison camp during that war, and his entire family died during that war. But every single night, he held on. He held on to hope. Hope that one day his kids could live free in a country that gave them opportunities, a country that gave them human rights. And so he held on for five years, every single night. My mother, she was born to a Chinese father and sisters, and she experienced homelessness during the Vietnam War. Her village was burned down during the war, and her dad died, and she and her sisters and her mother were homeless during the war. And every single night, for, they held on as well. They held on to hope that one day, their kids could live free in a country that gave them opportunities. A country that gave them freedom and human rights. And so, after the war ended, we were not so lucky, uh, we were not on that flight out, uh, and we stayed behind. And my dad spent time in a re-education camp as well. But fortunately, we were able to receive political asylum where we came to the United States, and we started afresh. My mother had an eighth grade education. She spent 14 hours a day working in a factory. 14 hours a day working in a factory to take care of her kids. And very much like Ducky uh, said, you know, we lived in a cramped apartment, all eight of us. You know, my dad was suffering from PTSD. 
from the Vietnam War, from being tortured in those camps. But there were a lot of folks who fought for me to have opportunities, including the American Legion. The American Legion gave me a chance to go to Boy State. And I went to Boy State, and I learned so much about the preservation of freedom and fighting for our democracy. And so I was so lucky uh, to be sponsored by the American Legion, and I was able to receive scholarships, and I ended up going to Yale University on a full-ride scholarship on scholarships and student loans and part-time jobs. And then I was able to go to the University of Cambridge to study foreign policy and international diplomacy. And then after that, I went to Harvard University for my master's in management and public policy to really think about how we can fight for our veterans. And I've spent my entire life working in community investments to make sure that we fight for our veterans, to make sure that we invest in veteran-owned businesses, to make sure that we fight for affordable housing. And that's why I'm running for the seat, is to make sure that we keep fighting for our veterans each and every day. Every single day, we have to honor our veterans. Right now, we have a huge crisis. 40,000 veterans are homeless right now in the United States of America. That's unjust, that is a travesty. We gotta make sure that we fight for our veterans each and every day. We gotta make sure that we support veteran-owned businesses, veteran-owned small businesses. And we also gotta make sure that we fight for our veterans have the best possible healthcare in the United States of America. We gotta make sure that our veterans have access to mental health services, to prescription drug services, and to any other services that's gonna help our veterans succeed and thrive. And so I'm here today because my life is a bonus, and it is a bonus because of the sacrifices of our veterans who fought so dearly during that war. And so I thank you all today for being here today, and I thank you so much for your service and so much for your sacrifices. And I may, I may God bless our country, and may God bless our various Americans, and may God bless our veterans. Thank you so much. Uh, I just want to uh, thank all these speakers that we're having, and it uh, makes you remember, uh, renew uh, our ideas, and, we, and sometimes we forget. So we're going to bring up the wreath with the Colonel and our PFC outstanding. <coughs> Colonel. Now, this is your last chance. If you haven't fitting out those papers, please do so right now. We're going to start collecting those, and we're going to read off those names, and then we're going to put them in the in the in the uh, bucket or not the bucket, the helmet. Okay. Let's start collecting those names, folks. You've got the Marines out here uh, taking charge yet. Sergeant Mulvaney's out there. Yeah. Uh, by While he's collecting those names, let me uh, let me bring up. Uh, Dale Tippett, he's a former commander. Sir, can you, uh, you have a few words you'd like to add? He was at a ceremony yesterday for uh, Vietnam uh, Remembrance, and uh, I'd like to have him say a few words while we're collecting those papers. Thank you, Richard. Good afternoon, everyone. It's so wonderful. It's an honor to be here. My name is Dale Tippett. I'm the immediate uh, past commander for the 9th District, uh, of which Franklin Park Post is a member of. And as Richard had mentioned, um, we had a uh, ceremony in Desplaines yesterday. One of our sister posts, uh, Desplaines Post 36, led that. And if we had some friends from the Vietnamese community, of, of course, uh, United Vietnamese Americans were there. And a lot of speakers shared uh, their, their, uh, their stories. It's a wonderful um, testimony of all these stories. I mean, we've got a, a history of, how old is the United States? 247 years old. So um, this, is a, this is a moment of American history. 
Uh, these, we have people that come here from various places that's our, that we're made up of. Uh, and fortunately, we're able to maintain our cultures that we bring here to, to the United States. But we are Americans all. And so with all these wonderful stories, the tragedies that's happened, and the, the stories that make us so proud, it's a testimony to the United States of America. So um, I wanted to recognize real quick uh, Young Nguyen, uh, who is a dear friend. Uh, would you stand for just a moment? Young, young win, young win, a good-looking guy over there, right there. there go. I'll, be, I'll be brief because I know what they're setting up. But I had the opportunity to meet Young Win and Kit Wo uh, about 15 years ago when I became the Vietnamese Community Liaison for Vietnam Veterans of America, in Chapter 311. Uh, we have some members scattered about who are members of the chapter. But these are folks who came home from the war, service people who weren't welcomed, uh, and they ended up developing their own veterans group. So uh, we've got a lot of work to do in communicating and actually rallying under the flag. That's the, it's all about America, the Constitution, God and country. That's what all of this is about. Uh, but 15 years ago, at an American Legion meeting, I was recruited into uh, the Vietnam Veterans of America. I was 18, I was on Operation Frequent Wind, served on the USS uh, Mobile, and uh, was when the evacuation happened, you, it was obvious that something very important was, was, was playing out right in front of our eyes. Well, come to find out so many years later, decades later, we have all of these people who came with literally just the clothes on their backs, uh, suitcases of whatever belongings they, they could muster, and they just anything that would fly or float, they got on board and just went out to sea. We had an armada of ships out there. It was, it was impressive. And again, that's all very well documented. There's a lot you can just look it up. The point is that these folks came here and they believe in the melting pot of America. They believe in maintaining their traditions of, of their home countries, but yet there is something uniquely special, exceptional about the United States of, of America. And it's been a privilege these last 15 years that I've actually been able to spend time with friends who, who've done volunteer work in the Vietnamese community, community there on Argyle Street uh, and now in the sub, suburban areas, and how the American dream has been embraced by the Vietnamese community. And we've got Congress people who've already served, we've got Navy captains who've sailed, who've steamed into Vietnam on port visits, uh, we've, done, we've done so many things. Entrepreneurs, it's just an amazing story, but it's an American story. It's an American success story. So this is all part of it. And when our founders founded this country, they founded it on God and country. And that's the, that's the bond that keeps us together. So with that, we've had some folks who've passed, who've served in our military. And I've got some names here. I can go ahead and just continue. So, uh, in, um, if I'm struggling with any names, you could correct me, okay, please. But uh, the following have passed, they're veterans, and I will begin now. Corporal Mike Ramirez, United States Marine Corps. Mike O'Shea, William Neistel, HMM-164 Pilots, Samuel A. Besant, Spec 4, 25 April 1969, Lani Vey, Lance Corp.